So, what are we going to talk about today, Norm? Oh, it's one of those shocks. Oh. You know how we like doing what's shocking us. Yeah, we haven't done one of those for a bit. No, but you know, Tina, there is one thing that new retirees get shocked about. And that's when you first get into retirement, you've been used to every time you think about retirement when you're at work, equating it with savings. So every tax year, you're making sure that you contribute to your registered retirement plan. And it's like word association, bread and butter. It's retirement and savings. Mm -hmm. But then something happens and you retire and you're no longer working, but you're still thinking savings because that's how you've always viewed retirement. But you've got to get to that stage where you flick the switch to go into spending mode. Especially early in retirement when you've got good mobility, you do need to start spending some money that you've saved because why did you save it in the first place? But increasingly, we found it difficult to spend when we first retired, didn't we, Tane? Yeah. I, I think it is it is a huge transition because suddenly you have this money and you think, what are we going to spend it on? When really you haven't been used to that, have you? You've got this big pool of money mm -hmm. and it's, what do we do with it? <laughs> but, Isn't it? But early in retirement, the first first few months of retirement, you haven't got rid of that fear, that basic fear of will my money uh, be right. enough? Yeah. Will it run out before I run out of life? <laughs> it's it, So you you have that. So you have the money. You also have the fear of do I have enough money for retirement? And will it run out? And that, along with how you view retirement, puts you into that paralysis of not spending. That should pass relatively quickly, especially yeah. if you have aspirations like Tina and I had mm -hmm. of travel, because that will suck up a lot of your money. <laughs> but other people that don't want to do that, it becomes a problem yeah. to spend some of your money and enjoy it. Yeah. In, in fact, Norm, if you remember, one of our viewers actually put a comment and said that he'd been to a financial advisor mm -hmm. a couple of years before he retired. And the advisor said to him, one of the biggest things you're going to find difficult is to spend the money. And the guy thought he was crazy, didn't he? Mm -hmm. And then two years later, he retired and he thought, hey, he was right. I don't know how to spend the money because <laughs> you're just not used to it. Yeah, so that's yeah. One, one of the shocks. So what else have we got, Tim? Oh. You are going to have to find a passion in retirement. Um, if you don't, you're going to end up sitting in front of the TV and we all know that's not good because then it's all the drinks and the snacks come out. So you'll be watching the TV, you'll be putting on weight and that's not going to be helping your health. You just don't want to no. be sat in front of the TV at nine o'clock in the morning in your pyjamas and then suddenly realise that <laughs> dinner time is rolling around at six o'clock. I know and you've not <laughs> done anything. So we're suggesting um, there's lots of things. You could be a school bus driver. You could be a crossing guard where you help the children going across the road that gets you out of the house for a yep. few hours a day talk to some people um and you need to find something that you're going to be able to do that will help fill your time you've actually just started to watch some interesting um youtubes haven't you know yeah love youtube and the variety <laughs> that's on there what Tina's saying is, try and try and find what your passion is. And if you don't know what your passion is, cast the net wide. Mm -hmm. I, I've watched YouTube videos and YouTube, YouTube suggests certain videos for us. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's a couple that I've started following. One about watch restoration. Uh, um, a guy does it as a hobby. Mm -hmm. And he does excellent videos about taking... He buys old watches on eBay uh, that aren't running, and then he dismantles them, and that's what his video, dismantling them, cleaning them, 
putting them back together, does beautiful work, but he's all self-taught. Mm -hmm. And then he sells his watches or gives them as gifts to family members. And there's another channel which uh, restores old sort of little matchbox cars or Hot Wheel cars. And they take them all apart, uh, repair them, paint them, put them back together again. And it's just fascinating to watch. <laughs> yes, that's the new two ones that you've been looking at, isn't it? That's right. So Which find something that uh, talks to you and perhaps learn a new skill, become mm -hmm. a watchmaker. Yeah. Who knows? Really interesting, isn't it? <laughs> One of the biggest shocks, Norm, is everybody's going to say, will you run out of money? Um, That's the number one. Yeah, it is, isn't it? But the crazy thing is, if you do a budget, what you will find is you will end up not using and spending as much money if you actually know how much you're going to spend. When you are retired, you end up not spending quite as much money as you think. So in actual fact, because you're not spending it quite as much on a day-to-day -day basis, you'll actually end up, in the end, saving it, which is kind of ironic, isn't it? Because everybody's... You should be spending it. <laughs> <laughs> but here you are saving it. So you get these pensions and everything coming in and you realize on your day-to-day -day things, you're not actually spending it all at the end of each month. So it's actually starting to give you a savings account. And it's quite amazing, isn't we, it? We Norm? did. Uh, we've yeah. talked in previous videos about how we underestimated what um, the government pensions would be for us. Um we had really felt that our savings and investments would be our main source of income in retirement. And it's turned out to be the complete opposite. Yeah. So we save money every <laughs> month, um, partly because we do find it difficult to spend money when we're not traveling. And in retirement, you've already got all the stuff, haven't you? You've got your TV, yeah. you've got yeah. your couch, you've got You've acquired that car. stuff, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. So... You're no longer having to go to work, so there's none of the expenses revolving around clothes, eating out, and having lunches, and oh, yeah. all that work-related yeah. expenses like gasoline in your car and this yeah. sort of stuff. So, yeah, the shocking fact is in <laughs> retirement, uh, you'll probably you end might. up saving money. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The other shocking truth, if you're... Uh, close to retirement is not wanting to retire. Uh, a lot of people we hear this is that I love my job. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to continue working. Why would I retire? I love working. And so you've really got to think that if you had a wealthy uncle and he left you his billion dollar estate, would you still go to work? Do you, do you love work that much or are you just making excuses out of fear of retiring? Um, you hear people winning the lottery, mm -hmm. win five million, win hundred million. They don't go to work. That's the first thing they don't <laughs> the is the job. Yeah, the first thing they stop, stop and, the job, don't they? And if you feel as though you love your job so much that you don't want to retire, there's maybe another reason there. Mm -hmm. So what we're saying is look at the finances and it ties into maybe a, another point that we want to make about continuing to work too long past retirement age. Yeah, I think that's one of the biggest things is don't leave it too long to keep saying no. I, I'm going to I'm going to retire in one year, five years. Just don't keep doing that. You don't get the time back. So don't keep putting no. it off because we hear so many stories about people who they kept going, then they suddenly retire and then something happens to them. They get an illness or The reality is, is that right? retirement is yeah. only going to last so long. That's, mm -hmm. that's the brutal truth. So the quicker you get onto retirement, the longer you have. Yeah. If you keep putting it off, you're going to have a very, very short retirement. Yeah. Just it's evolution. It's it's the hands of time. 
And so we're kind of saying find that happy medium and yeah try and enjoy it and make the most of it yeah. and you know there's so many people keep putting it off or and using, those first few yeah. years are the ones where you are at your most active fittest mm -hmm. and most able to do whatever passion that you find out that you want to do mm -hmm. so the shocking truths are that you probably won't be able to spend money in the first few months of retirement <laughs> and that uh, your money won't run out. In fact, you'll end up saving money because you just don't need all this stuff. Wow. Which... <laughs> We've been shocked again. We have and we hope that everybody has enjoyed it and we hope that everybody is staying safe. And keeping well. Until the next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.